back It's very nice to get a win. Um, I'm glad for the team, I'm glad for the guys. You know, they've been working really hard at practice and we just have not been playing very well at all when on game days. And today we played um, we played a really good game today. And so I'm just really proud of them for or proud or happy that that they got, you know, the chance to experience the feeling of getting a victory. Well, the message was just keep giving it everything you got. Keep trying to grind it out. Stay positive. Root for your team. You know, uh, don't let outside distractions bother you. Things that you can't control. Just try to stay focused on what you can control, and try to do the best of your ability and have the right plan of attack, whether it's on the mound or at the plate or playing defense, whatever it might entail. Got the nine-three win here today. What was the difference? Well, we pitched, okay? We didn't walk anybody today. Um, Tanner did a great job. He went out there and he gave us five and two-thirds. He ran out of gas, you know, in the sixth, obviously. Um, but he gave us a chance by going out there and putting up some zeros, which allowed us to score some runs and, and played it at the front of the game where all these games that we've been playing, we've been losing five to one, six to one. You know, just been giving up major runs in the first two innings of the ball game, and it's it's very demoralizing when you're when you're losing to try to come back from it all the time. I mean, yeah, once in a while, you, you know, you can get motivated and you get excited, say, "Oh, we we got this. We'll keep chipping away." But when it's game after game after game and you're losing, you know, by a, such a big number, at some point it does take an effect on the ball club. You know, and it's very hard mentally. And you got to remember, they're kids. Okay, these aren't professional players. They are, you know, 18 to 23 year olds. They're still kids out here. And now you do get the win moving forward. What what do you think you can take from this game to try and uh, get into maybe a little win streak? Well, we want to try to build off of the momentum. We're going to practice. You know, we're on spring break this week, so you know we'll we'll get in the weight room. You know, several times this week. We got a game midweek against um, Queens. Uh, we've never played them before. Um, so that, that'll be an interesting you know, game for us. We've got to play it on the road. And then we've got Columbus coming in here for the weekend, who the last time I looked had won like eight in a row. Um, so we've got to have a next couple days of practice. have got to be really good. And we got to try to iron out some things that we're deficient in. And so we need to play well against Queens, and we need to really play well against Columbus to try to get back into the Peach Belt race. I know you don't like to talk that much about individual accolades, but 600 wins for you now at UNCP. What does that mean to you when you hear a number like that? Well, it's 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 nice, okay, that I have won 600 games here at UNC Pembroke. But, you know, the credit goes to the players. I mean, the players and all the assistant coaches that have worked for me, they're the ones, you know, they deserve more credit than I do, you know, for it. Players, you know, they make plays. I just try to put them in the right spot so they can be successful, but they're the ones who've got to catch it and throw it and hit it. And I've had some great assistant coaches that have worked for me that have allowed me to be in this situation, that have been able to go out and attract quality players and been able to coach them and get them better and, and do all the small things, you know, that, that go into a baseball program. So I've been just very fortunate, you know, with it. I'm just a small piece of our baseball program. Congratulations. Thanks for your time. Thank you.